This boy's death is an opportunity. The community could really explode over this like L.A. did in the 90s. All it needs is a little push. The whole city will be on its knees. Well, we send Metis to reclaim the pots. Yeah, and Black Lightning is sure to show up. But I'm done with him taking from me. This time, I'm going to take his powers from him. I'm positive. Oh, oh man. I know. You hear that deep, that dark, voice. villainous voice. We're getting <laughs> ultimately, ultimate dark villain vibes here. Marvin Jones III stars in the hit CW show Black Lightning, playing crime boss Tobias Well. He joins us now to chat all about what we can expect in season three. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing today? You're so much nicer in real life. Oh, <laughs> than you so are. <laughs> that I'm voice is. I was going to say, have you thought about doing like voiceover? Yeah, I mean, right? You need to be doing yeah. the next dark thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That'd be awesome. He's like, yeah. I'd love to do that. Mm -hmm. Who are your that. villain inspirations for this? So many. Um, of course, the Joker. Yeah. Um, I, 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 Heath Ledger's portrayal of, of the Joker was very impactful for me. Um, Vincent DeFroyo, he, he plays um, Kingpin in mm -hmm. Daredevil. And um, I love his work. I love anything he does, actually. Um, yeah, he's an amazing actor. So, him. Uh, is I'll it, give you one more. Okay. okay. He's not a superhero villain, though. Who is a who? villain? Nino Brown. Oh! <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, Nino I see Brown, where you're Brown, going Brown, with that one. Fair, okay, yeah. but I, I want to ask if... How, I guess I, I guess I want to ask, how does that, how do you not let it take over you, yourself too much? Yeah. That's what they say with Heath Ledger, that the role took over his yeah. life. Yeah. I mean, do you ever feel like there's a, a battle there? It can be. Uh, I, I, for me personally, and, I, and I've, I've watched this documentary, I've read so many things about that, um, and people always talk to me about that possibility. For me, I, to be quite honest, uh, I keep my relationship vertical um, with the what Father, does that mean? With, oh. with God, okay. and, and, and I, I make sure that I balance out. I yeah. do a lot of bad because, stuff I on mean, TV. I know, I'm <laughs> asking yeah, you're such a nice guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're oh, trying to channel so that, right. I mean, yeah, it's and I opposite. Do, I, I, I try to make sure that whatever I do um, on television stays on television for me personally. And, and while I'm working, while I'm filming, in the process of filming, um, again, like I say, I try to make sure I balance my spirit out, you know, and, mm -hmm. I, and, I, and, I, and I make sure that I am centered as a man, Marvin Jones. And then I can go, and, and, and it gives me the authority, knowing who I am and where I am, spiritually, mentally, you know, emotionally, everything, That's gives deep. me the authority to play this heinous character on television. That's so yeah. interesting. Your history is fascinating too because you started in music as a rapper yeah. and that's really what you've really built your career on and then you pivoted into the acting role. That's not no. the easiest transition in the world. Not at all, not at all. I mean, we've seen it done and it's been done successfully for quite some time now. But I, even to those, you know, those that are before me from Ice-T to Queen Latifah to Most Dev to Ice Cube to Will Smith, on and on and on, yeah. this goes on and on. But for them, even them, I've watched and it wasn't easy for them, mm -hmm. you know, but it, it, it was something that um, they stayed with, something that I have to stay with. It's, it's a natural progression because you think you're performing on stage, you're reciting lyrics, you're doing these things, but the craft is a little bit different, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. between, you know, being a, a lyricist and being an actor. Right. Um, but you have to respect them equally and individually. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. even a ghostwriter, you know, for some huge acts like uh, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, any songs yeah. that, are, we, are you allowed to share what the songs are? Yeah. How does that work? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slippery slope, that can be, <laughs> um, be honest. You know, um, Snoop Dogg and I have worked closely together as well as um, Dre, Exhibit, Talib Kweli, the, the list goes on and on of the people that, um, it's po public information that I've written for, and there's some that it's not public information. Yeah. Okay. Um, but but for those guys, I you know with Dre and Snoop, their last big record together, I was able to write and be a part of that. Honored to be a part of that. Snoop Dogg, I wrote a couple of records on his last album, uh, the documentary, um, his last rap album. There we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, it, I'm honored, you know, f to even say that. You know, a guy like me, I came up under those guys. I came yeah. up after yeah. those guys. Yeah. Let's so, talk. Oh, sorry. To no, no, I'm just saying, just so to be trusted with that you know, ability to, be, yeah. to write for them is, is an honor. There we go. Let's mm -hmm. talk more about um, Black Lightning, just being a part of a show that has a black superhero on it. That's yeah. pretty cool. It's amazing. The first black superhero family. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, with the daughters as well, and, and um, even the mom's a superhero um, on the <laughs> show. So yeah, it's, it's an incredible yeah. thing, you know, and very impactful for the community, very impactful for this time of the superhero resurgence, you know, and, the, and to show the different aspects 
of superheroes that we show on our show. Yeah. I don't think it's been seen before. Well, you mentioned origin stories, too. Everyone wants to know. Tobias yeah. Whale has a fascinating or origin yeah. story. And the creator, Tony Isabella, that story of how he created the character is really interesting. Yeah, it really, really is. Tony's an amazing man. It's, it, I, I'm honored to say that I know him, just you know, to be able to call him and talk to him. Um, he created Black Lightning in 1977. It was an idea out of his mind. Um, he included a character. Um, with the likeness of myself, and and I, I'm just honored to be a part of it. To like we talk all the time, and and he tells me where his mindset was mm -hmm. at that time, even in 1977. So to think, that this was I was only I'm gonna age, I don't want to tell my age, but I was a young <laughs> man at that time, uh, very, j just now coming to the world, as a matter of fact, and and to to think that at that time he was creating something that I could portray, you know, 40 years later, yeah. is amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to have plenty more with you, Marvin. You okay, ain't going anywhere quite yet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. okay. And, of course, you can keep up with Marvin Jones III on social media, plus this Saturday. Tomorrow, yeah. he's going to be joining us, the Jam, the U, CW26, everybody at the Bud Billiken Parade kicks off at 10 a.m. You want to come out with us and have a good time. But, again, uh, Black Lightning, of course, returns for its third season on October 7th. You can catch it on Chicago's new home uh, for the CW, CW26.